Hey what's up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we'll look at the brand new zombie map coming in Season 3 in COD Mobile. It released finally on the beta servers, the test servers, and we can finally have a look at it. And guys, when I first got the news that it was going to be Night of the Dead or Night of the Undead, it was not so clear, but there was a spoiler before they released the map. And we quickly realized it was going to be Nashder on Toten, the very first zombie map on World at War. And my first reaction, guys, I was really not hyped, okay? Because back then, it was the smallest map. There was nothing to do on it, just a couple doors, a couple rooms. And after a few rounds, you end up only doing rotations in the basement, in between the pillars, and just try to survive as long as you can. There was nothing to do there. So I was thinking of all the maps, like Kino, Dare Rise, there's so many cool maps. I was like, why would they bring back this map? Well, it's been reworked, guys. We're going to look into it today. The good and the bad. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. So guys, if you enjoy zombies, this video is for you. Now, before we go into the details, make sure you guys enter my Season 3 Battle Pass giveaway. You guys got less than two weeks left to enter. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and look for that video. Leave your info in the comments. Now, after that, you can check out my Twitter for two more chances to win. I'll draw six winners on the YouTube comments and two winners on Twitter. Now, let's check out the zombie map, guys. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. So like I said, the map is very small. Well, it used to be very small and there was nothing back then. There was only the mystery box and that's pretty much it. You would try to get better weapons, maybe the flamethrower back then. I don't think it's back, but then you would run loops around the basement where the pillars are near the stairs and you would just run loops like that, uh, get a train of zombies and then kill them and then try to beat your record. But there was nothing else. There was no perks. There was no pack-a-punch machine. And like I said, it was pretty disappointing when I heard the news. But right now, what we see in the new gameplay, they reworked the map. And first big news is we can now go outside. Now, that was not there on the first version of the game. I played it on World at War. I don't know if they reworked the map many times after that because I didn't play the recent Call of Duty games. But I know that was not available back then. So we have a whole new area to explore. And you see the mystery box and new mystery box locations. And now it can change spots. So after opening it a few times, you'll have to look for it on another place. Now, next big thing, guys, is we can expect 100%. I mean, maybe not 100%, but guys, expect an Easter egg again. I've seen some stuff written on the walls. I've seen some radios on the map, so maybe just more to the story if it's not an easter egg or a whole new uh, thing to unlock, but more to the story for sure by uh, shooting the radios and maybe exploring the map, reading everything you see on the walls and try to find out if there's something hidden in the map. Maybe it's not available right now in the beta server, but maybe they will add more to the future. So the fact that we can now go outside and explore a whole new area on the map is definitely a positive addition to the game. And I cannot wait to try it for real. I love zombies and I love new stuff. Now the next new addition to the game is the Pack-A-Punch machine. It was not on the first map in season two. And you will see here in the gameplay, the Pack-A-Punch machine is now on the map. It costs 5,000 coins to upgrade your weapon. But careful guys, it doesn't seem to be working like the Pack-A-Punch machine that we know. If you guys played Zombies in the past, the Pack-A-Punch machine, how it works is you gather some points and when you have enough, you go to the Pack-A-Punch, you put your weapon in there, you pay, and then it's gonna come back, completely transform a whole new weapon or an upgraded version of your weapon. It even has a different name. But from what I've seen in the beta, it does not seem to work that way. So how it seems to work right now is you pay, you put your weapon, and then it comes back the same weapon, but it has a level. You'll see a number on your weapon. So you can level up two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine times, and it costs more and more. So the way I see it, is you would probably just be able to upgrade your weapons to deal more damage on the zombies, to be able to survive more rounds, but you would not get a brand new version of the weapon. 
Now, once again, it is only the beta version right now. It's the test servers. Maybe they're holding some stuff back and only intend to release it on season three when the launch is going global. But here's the pack a punch machine. It's right there in the open. You don't even have to look for it. Um, you don't have to do something like some secret or some code or opening some some sequence of doors or whatever to gain access to the pack a punch machine. So again, good or bad. I mean, it's good that they added the pack a punch. It's not so good that it's a new kind of pack a punch if it's gonna be. And then again, used to be some secrets and some zombies maps. You had to look for it. You could not access the pack a punch right at the start. You usually you would have to open some doors and find your way to the pack a punch machine. I remember having to launch a rocket and activate a code to open the door to the pack a punch in some zombie map. I think it was Ascension. Uh, and yeah, in Call of the Dead, you had to go to the boat and gain access to the frozen water. So it's just right there in the open, right at the start. You can save your points in the first couple of rounds and upgrade your weapons. But then again, is it going to be the real upgraded version or just a level up that you can level up many times? So we'll have to wait a few weeks, less than two weeks, guys. Uh, season two ends in about 10 days, something like that. And then I expect season three to start right after usually it's a day or two max and last season it was very fast so once again i'm super excited for the new zombie map i cannot wait to try it cannot wait to explore look for an easter egg or some secrets probably that we won't find until the release but i want to give a big shout out before we go i'll leave you guys with some gameplay a uh, shout out to ultra charge on my discord he provided me with some gameplay for you guys and in the gameplay, he's not trying to, to do uh, high rounds or anything. He's just trying to just show all the corners of, of the map, opening all the doors, looking at the walls, the, um, the perk machines and stuff like that. So enjoy the gameplay for real because he did a great job doing exactly that, showing all the areas, uh, the walls, the doors, the map overall. So thank you so much for the gameplay and hope you guys will enjoy it. Uh, once again, leave me a comment below if I missed anything. If you think you have something to add to uh, the topic, make sure you leave a comment. You guys know I'll read everything. So that's it for today. Enjoy the gameplay. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care. Cover me. Reloading.
March 18th. That researcher who was responsible for picking up prisoners of war always locked himself in the room on the second floor. I have no idea what he was doing. Reloading. Reloading. Cover. Reloading. Stuck here. 